I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the various different ways to migrate off of Postgres uh, to single store. And just getting started right now, just, you see a few different things here on my screen. I'll go through those. So the first thing is, uh, is something that Emmanuel actually alluded, alluded to uh, a few minutes ago. The first is just migrating schemas manually and then using single store pipelines to get data into, uh, into single store. That's a great option to ensure that you are very granular, very accurate about what you're doing, converting your schemas manually, and then using our native pipelines engine to bring those uh, uh, to bring that data in. So uh, you would make database specific modifications such as shard keys, sort keys, and then write your uh, simple ingest statements uh, for, uh, to, to get the data in uh, uh, after uh, after doing the bulk loads from from uh, pipelines. The next would be PG dump. So very similar to MySQL dump, if you're uh, if you're familiar with that as well, you're going to get a complete DDL export in Postgres syntax as well as insert statements, uh, and then you could do those manual syntax modifications again to single store. Uh, these are this is good in situations where you don't have a, a very large amount of DDL um, because because if you're you know of course migrating 150 200 schemas, you may not want to manually do all of those. Today, what we're going to talk about is uh, is some third-party migration tools, as well as uh, a specific one that we use here at Single Store called Single Store Replicate, um, which uh, Single Store Replicate gives you native connectivity and snapshot and continuous CDC capabilities out of Postgres and several other databases. So, what you're going to see today is how we're going to take a snapshot of data out of Postgres and get that directly into Single Store. There are other options out there as well, like HVR that gives you that native connectivity in the snapshot and continuous, as well as Debezium uh, that does uh, MySQL also does Postgres, does you know several other different types of um, uh, database uh, uh, migrations over into single store. Today, what you're going to see is uh, is RDS Postgres with several tables. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get that those schemas and the data out, and we're gonna use uh, just a bulk batch replication out of uh, of Postgres. We're going to do automatic table conversion, sharding, and insert statements all into single store with a simple command. So um, what you'll see is just how to how to automatically get all of your data out of Postgres into single store's managed service. And if we just uh, if we just take a look here at how it's going to work, show you on the left side what you see is the configuration file that we're going to use against Postgres. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, I've, I've redacted uh, the username and password this time. If, uh, if you're on previous webinars, uh, that wasn't the case. But uh, you'll, you'll see that, uh, that we have just a database name and then some configuration to the host and the port of the Postgres instance that's up there. Uh, and, uh, and just a few more things on the connections and the retries uh, to, to, to configure the Postgres connection. And on the right side, what you'll see is our single store connection. That is going to be the DDL endpoint uh, for our single store managed service cluster, which I'll show you. Uh, and then just a little bit more again against about max connections, max retries, and, and your uh, retry uh, wait uh, duration over there. And then at the bottom, what you'll see of this slide is that one simple command that I'm going to run to get all of my tables out of Postgres and into single store. That's going to leverage, as you can see there, the Postgres YAML file that's on the left side of your screen, and then the single store uh, YAML file that's uh, on the right side of your screen. So I will go ahead and hop in then. And so many of you, if you're Postgres users, you're very familiar with, uh, you may be very familiar with what I have up on my screen right now. This is PG admin. Uh, and so our Postgres admin is just, you know, where users will write queries against Postgres, um, create tables, uh, augment tables, you know, test queries out, things like that. And so what you can see here is that I have uh, several different tables that I'm going to be migrating over. These aren't all the tables. It's just a sample set. And you can see that I have hundreds of thousands of records in some of them, tens of thousands in others. Uh, and, I, uh, and I've sort of notated those counts there. So you don't necessarily have to watch me uh, sort of look at all the, uh, the counts of each of these tables. But I, what I will do is go ahead and run a query within Postgres, which is a simple join of, of my AdventureWorks data set, which is uh, just uh, several different transactions, sales, product offerings, work order routings, things like that. So I'm going to take my um, sales order detail table and, and do an inner join to my sales order header sales recent table, uh, which are just two different tables uh, regarding my, uh, my AdventureWorks sales. And I'm going to run that. 
So you can see it's run and it's taken about 757 milliseconds. Um, it, uh, it, it, it's running in several hundred milliseconds uh, on Postgres. And, uh, and then I'm getting the results here. So you see I have my sales order ID and then several other different columns uh, of my, uh, my sales order data set. So this is our, uh, this is our Postgres uh, database. Now let's hop into that uh, single store replicate functionality that we discussed earlier and, uh, and talk about how we can go ahead and do our database migration. So I am in uh, an EC2 instance where the, uh, where the single store replicate tool is housed. Uh, and uh, all I'm going to do is run that simple command that I showed you all on uh, on the slide with those two YAML files that we kind of uh, uh, discussed already. And I'm going to just expand this, and you can see now I have my uh, Postgres to single store, formerly known as MemSQL, uh, uh, migration starting to happen here. So we've elapsed about 15 seconds. Single store replicate is just looking through uh, all of the tables. There are you know, there are hundreds of tables here. Uh, and, and now we are doing the migration. So we're migrating all of these tables, some of which you saw in Postgres, over into a database within single store that's gonna be called a work public. So you have a work public address type, sales ter territory, and, and several other tables. And you can see all of the row counts right here. And I'll expand that a little bit too so you can get a little bit more uh, granularity there. So you can see that it's taken 29 seconds to do that migration. And what's also great here is that I can see the, the peak rate and the average rate of how long these, uh, uh, you know, the, the rates of, of how many records per second were being migrated. So you can see that it's also not only very easy to use, but also very fast. So now what I'm gonna do is hop into my single store portal. This is our managed service portal. Uh, we, have, uh, we have demos and, uh, and webinars uh, on YouTube or live webinars like this on how to use and get started with the $500 in credits that Matt mentioned. But I've gone ahead and spun up a cluster. This is on our smallest uh, size, which is our S00 cluster. I'm going to go ahead and just say, use A Work Public. And uh, as you can see here, A Work Public uh, is, is a database here. So it's in my list of databases. The use command worked, which means at a minimum, that database itself has come over from Postgres. Now what I'm gonna do is, uh, is prod even further. Let's see if we can show the tables. So I said show tables and all of the tables from that Postgres database are here. Now let's take it a step further and look at all those row counts across partitions. I have my database name, table names with all the partitions and row counts listed here. So the final thing I want to do is go ahead and run that query that we ran in Postgres over in single store. And you can see here that that same query is running in 98 milliseconds with that network uh, latency round trip from my browser over to uh, the single store cluster in AWS North Virginia. So not only can you see here that we've migrated uh, the, uh, the, the Postgres database over with all its tables, with hundreds of thousands of records, uh, millions in total. But we've also brought it in and we haven't had to do anything. We haven't selected a shard queue. We haven't done anything like that. The, the, uh, the, the data has been brought in and, uh, and we've used a keyless shard to bring all that data in. So it's evenly distributed across all the, cluster, uh, the entire cluster. And we're getting that join in 98 milliseconds. So now I'm gonna just pop back into the slides here and I'm gonna kind of just tell you quickly about how we can uh, how we can get started. So there's several different ways that you can get started with single stores managed service So or, or single store in general. The first would be just learning by reading. Our docs are very, very uh, detailed and have quite, you know, quite a bit of information for you to, to, to learn single store and how the managed service works. You can in, engage with peers on our forum. So we have a very large community of people that are uh, discussing single store online. You can learn by watching. Uh, like I mentioned, our YouTube channel has a lot of uh, videos by, by, uh, by folks at Single Store that are just trying to share uh, new features and, and product updates. You can learn through training as well. So as Matt mentioned, you can, uh, you can go to bit.ly slash webinar dash postgresql uh, to get started with your $500 in credits. And I will do one more final plug in here that the cloud solutions engineering team here at Single Store is always, always, always willing to help and excited to help 
on your migrations from, from Postgres or any other database to single store. Uh, so if you spin up a trial, you will probably hear from a cloud solutions engineer uh, wanting to help and, and uh, we, uh, we're excited to do so. Thank you.